If you're looking for a channel, keep it real and spit your facts. No need to look further, gangsta emoji where it's at. We keep it gangsta. Everything I say, we keep it gangsta. Everything I say, you can feel. If you're looking for a channel, keep it real and spit facts. No need to look further, gangsta emoji where it's at. We keep it gangsta. Everything I say, we keep it real. We keep it gangsta. Everything I say, you can feel. Welcome back, hunty. It is your girl, Miss Lita, and I am back with another video. I have about two more of these segments, and then it will conclude our segment on the 10 most popular females in regards to what Miss Lita watches and who Miss Lita um, thinks needs their props and their flowers right now. So I have two more after this one, and then that will conclude the segment. Who knows? I might do a men's segment. We'll see. But let's get into this. So first up this time is Miss Trophy Douglas, a.k.a. Trophy Dope. Um, I started watching Miss Trophy probably about a year, maybe a year and a half ago. Um, she is based out of Houston. She's a mom of two and she loves to do natural hair um, care. Although she just recently cut off all of her hair, which I, you know, I ain't mad at her. Um, I've been wanting to cut my hair off too, but everyone be fussing. So, um, but I had learned how to do a nice twist out watching Miss um, Trophy. Now, Miss Trophy is a mom of two beautiful little boys um, who definitely keep her busy. When watching her blogs, you will learn all about the journeys of motherhood, um, how to balance between work and being a mom, um, as well as a YouTuber. You will learn in regards to um, sponsorships. You will learn bits and pieces of her life. She shares a great deal with us. Um, like she recently, unfortunately, had went through a breakup with um, her kid's father, but she shows you how to pick up the pieces and continue on um, without having a breakdown because some people have a breakdown, um, but she makes the relationship breakup look easy um, because, again, she's a mom and she has to keep thriving. She has to be the best her for her kids, and she definitely does a great job of presenting that to the camera. Um, she recently uh, had moved into an apartment and she shows you her decorating skills and style um, and her vision as she puts the decor together for her new home with um, her boys. She also, you know, shows you um, her family, her mom and, and stuff like that. Um, and her siblings. Then in addition to that, she shows, um, her, like her life outside of YouTube in regards to interacting with, um, friends and family and things that they've done. Like I remember one segment they did their sip and see basically at home. And so they designed their, um, own little sip and see and, um, she did an abstract painting, which I thought was very cool. Now, one of the things that she does is she definitely teaches her kids um, various things in regards to education, and she loves to display those interactions on the videos as she teaches her kids sounds, um, the alphabets, how to write. Um, she promotes various educational products. Now, Miss Trophy used to be a um, teacher and she decided that she didn't want to be a teacher anymore and became a full time YouTuber. And she has been shining ever since. I definitely love to watch the mommy blogs um, and to, to watch her interaction outside of the kids. You know, we all have different personalities when we're not around our kids because it's like, whoo, 
we can be free, we can be ourselves, you know, but when you're in front of your kids, it's not that you can't be yourself, but you have to minimize what you do in front of your kids because a child will mimic whatever you do. So um, she is always very mindful in regards to what she does and says in front of her kids. Um, and she loves to interact with her subscribers. Um, that is one thing I definitely can say about her. I, I love to watch her blogs. Now she's very helpful. Um, she will definitely tell you, you know, um, in regards to doing your natural hair, she'll give you um, information on being a YouTuber. Um, I've DM'd her and she will respond back. Like I say, she's, she's really good on that. Um, and it's remarkable that she will do that, especially with two kids um, under the age of three. So if you guys don't know about Miss Trophy and you have kids and you just want to watch some other mom who actually goes through the same struggles that you do, Trophy is definitely one who you should watch. Um, the blogs are very entertaining and it teaches you how you can teach your kids on different levels. And it shows you the interaction that her children have amongst one another, as well as she teaches you that, you know, she has some good days and she has some bad days. Um, and so she also will teach you in regards to organic eating when it comes to her kids. Um, she doesn't like to give them all of this high processed foods and stuff like that. So if you don't know about Miss Trophy Douglas, y'all definitely need to go and check out Miss Trophy. I definitely forgot to tell you guys all about her um, series or chronicle in regards to don't have kids. Um, she just recently did a video in regards to one of her sons um, took their diaper and actually put it in the washing machine while she was washing clothes. And so when she opened up the washer, she definitely got a surprise of a diaper being plastered onto the washing machine. Um, and she found like letters and everything else within the washing machine. So each and every day she does a like a short or a real in regards to don't have kids. So I definitely enjoy those chronicles because having boys can be hell on wheels sometimes. In addition to her chronicles, she also does a lot of working out, um, making sure that she intakes the right amount of water each and every day. Um, and then she has done juicing in the past. She does meal preps. She does a little bit of everything because if one thing you don't know about Miss Trophy, she loves to be a hoochie. That's what she always says. And so it ain't nothing wrong with that. Get a girl. Her catchphrase is definitely going to have to be her. Bye. Now, next up in regards to who I watch is Supernatural. Um, her name is Dominique. She has one beautiful child named Sid. Um, now what I love about her, uh, blogs and stuff like that, she does shopping blogs, she does cooking blogs, um, she does interactions with her child, Sydney. Um, she also does interactions with her aunts that live in Houston. Um, she, she does a little bit of everything, but she definitely will show you how to take care and maintain your natural hair. Um, she will show you the journey of her doing her daughter's natural hair and how, um, it has been a painful journey because Sid is extremely sensitive, um, and tender headed. And so she has tried everything from just like putting a, a light perm in it to loosen up the curl pattern, but not take it away, um, because she didn't want it to be straight, straight. She has even listened to her daughter. Her daughter wanted all of her hair basically shaved off. She wanted it to be a fade. Um, she received a lot of flack for um, cutting her daughter's hair off and shaving it on the sides. But, you know, I say kudos to her uh, if that's what her daughter wanted. And her daughter was in love with the hairstyle and they both was in agreement with it. And then to hell what anyone else has to say because... They're not in her house, so they're not paying her bills. They don't have anything that they have to do. And one of the key factors that she said um, when she did make that decision to cut her daughter's hair, and she said, you know, how can we say that, you know, we want our kids to come to us with anything in regards to how they feel if we are not willing to listen to them and what they're saying? 
And so that was something that definitely stood out for me that I liked. Um, and and she she's absolutely right. You know, we say we want our kids to talk to us and have open communication with us, but we also got we also have to be willing to listen to what that they have to say. And um, her daughter wanted her hair shaved, and so she listened to her, and they made the decision to do it together. Her hair has since grown back, and she is thriving. Um, Sid is still gonna be tender headed. But she is definitely working through that. Now, Supernatural, aka Dominique, is from Cali. Um, she has been here in Texas probably about a year, um, living in Houston. So she definitely is adjusting to this Texas lifestyle, I believe. Um, I know it was difficult for her for a while because she was used to being around her family um, and friends. And so anytime you pick up and move and start a new somewhere else, it, it's always hard. Um, and then she left her mom, Lottie, there. And so, um, yeah, you know, that can be difficult. Um, one thing that I do love is she'll tell you like stories about her mom. Like, um, I remember we, we had a good conversation about sweeping at someone's feet or getting a broom and coming near someone's feet. You know, um, my mom was the same way. My uncles as well. You, you don't sweep at nobody's feet, honey, or you don't open a, um, umbrella. That's what it was. You don't open an umbrella inside of a house. That's bad luck. Like you, you better run if you open that umbrella inside of the house because you are bound to, to catch it. Um, yeah, my mama didn't play that and her mama didn't either. But my mom is from Louisiana. And so the sweeping of the feet, they used to always say that you're bound to send someone to jail. And so um, you don't come near them with a broom. But she was telling her daughter about not opening an umbrella inside of a home because she would definitely be in big trouble with her mother, Lottie. Um, like I say, Miss Dominique will teach you how to do makeup. She will teach you how to tend to your natural hair. She will show you how to do braids and other things like that. Um, she also takes you on her girls trips. She does a little bit of everything. So it's really interesting. Um, I love to see her interaction with her aunts. Uh, I, I love to see her interaction with Sid and the various things she does for cooking. She's on her weight loss journey now. So check out Supernatural. So what have I learned from these two beautiful women? Um, I've learned from Trophy that, you know, no matter what adversity that you're facing, pick yourself up, try again, don't ever stop, um, don't let anyone see you sweat. Don't let people be in your business. You know, they, they want to know. Some want to know because they want to make sure you're good as a person and others just want to know to be nosy. But regardless, make sure that you keep your privacy. Um, keep keep things to yourself. You can't share everything with everyone. Um, and so that I, I truly admire about her. Um, I have learned from her how to use Aspire IQ, um, I, uh, Magic Link. Um, I have learned how to get or acquire wig deals. Um, I've learned a lot from Miss Trophy. Like I say, Trophy is definitely one who will talk to you. She tells us all the time in her videos, like hit her up on IG. She's always willing to talk to us on IG. And that she definitely does. I have to say that um, she is very good for answering questions. Um, she will go in depth with you. She she loves to interact with people. Um, and even with being a mom with two small kids and not really having a lot of time to do a lot of things, she still takes time out to answer people's questions and to reply back to them. So that is definitely commendable. Um, another thing that I've learned from her is um, basically, you know, if you want to do something, do it. 
Um, she was a teacher and that's what she wanted to do. But then she got into YouTube and she loved it. And so now she does YouTube and it allows her the ability to stay at home and be a stay at home mom. And it also still puts food on the table. So do what you want to do. Don't let anything or anyone stop you. What have I learned from Supernatural or aka Miss Dominique? I've learned that, you know, you can always pick up and move and start somewhere fresh. Um, don't ever be afraid to try different things, different looks, uh, different places. I've also learned from her, listen to your kids. You know, they, they do have an opinion. Um, and if we want to be our kids' friends, we, we have to be able to listen to what they have to say. And what they're bringing out to the forefront. Another thing that I've learned from her is, you know, just because people have an opinion about what you're doing doesn't mean that you have to listen to their opinion or um, subject yourself to the rude comments. Um, so that is definitely one of the things that I've learned from her, you know. If they're not paying your bills, if they're not putting food on your table, and excuse me, if they're not making you shit, then why are you worried about what they got to say? You know, I know she definitely did receive a lot of flack when she shaved her daughter's hair on the side, but hair, it's hair. It's going to grow back. It's going to grow back. And if you don't know anything, she's a beautician. So she knows how to slap some weave in there and everything else. Let that baby try every hairstyle in the world if she wants to try it. It's not your child. So why are you worried about it? Leave that woman alone and let her do what she do. So that's what I've learned. Like, ignore the haters. Listen to what your kid actually has to say. So that way you can definitely create that open line of communication. You know, don't just say, come and talk to me about anything. Be willing to listen to them. And actually implement the things that they say. Um, that I definitely love about her. Um, so these are two women who are based out of Houston. I hope you guys check them out. Like I say, they are definitely um, family oriented women. And you will watch a wide variety of their blogs. Both of them do makeup. Both of them do um, hair. You just never know what you're going to get from either one of them. So until next time, I'm your girl, Miss Lita, and I'm out this thing. Peace. Another day, another story. Keep it gangsta with gangsta mozi. Keep it gangsta. Another day, another story. Keep it gangsta with gangsta